Hi everybody, today we're gonna to be making just one plate of spaghetti with olive oil and veggies. Just one single plate. If you wanna make yourself some spaghetti and not the whole entire family, then this recipe is for you. The first thing you wanna do is cook your pasta. That is the longest step of the recipe and we're gonna let that cook while we prepare the rest. Now we're gonna cut one Roma tomato into small pieces. It only takes a minute to do by hand, but if you want, you can use a food processor. Now we're gonna cut a green onion into small pieces. We're only gonna use the dark green part of the green onion. We're not gonna go down to the lighter part. Now we're gonna take just a small piece of a green bell pepper and cut it into small pieces. Now we're gonna slice, thinly slice, a piece of a red onion and then chop that into small pieces. As you can see, most of this recipe is just cutting vegetables into small pieces. Now comes the fun part. It's time to cook it. You're gonna put two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil in a skillet over high heat. Then you're gonna add your vegetables and saute it until it is nice and soft. Soft, but not mushy. When it is ready, it should look something like this. Now you're gonna add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And then you're gonna add your hot cooked pasta. And also turn the heat halfway down. Stir it up a little bit to get the olive oil all on the spaghetti. And then we'll add our spices. First, we're gonna add salt. I use a grinder, so I don't know the measurements, but this is three full grinds. Now we're gonna add a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. You can change that to an eighth if you're not really into a lot of spice because this recipe is a tad bit spicy, not burn your mouth spicy, but just a little spicy. And that was one teaspoon of Mrs. Stash garlic and herb seasoning. And we're also gonna add a half of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Again, you can change that to a fourth if you're not really into the spice. And lastly, we're just gonna mix it all in. This recipe is so quick and so easy and so delicious. that is it this is just enough for one person so no more making enough spaghetti to feed a small army when it is just you I hope you try it and enjoy it and thank you so much for watching